Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. I'm going to talk to you just a very brief moment about tomahawks. Here I hold myself a cold steel mock-up, so it's not a real tomahawk, even though I prefer working the real ones all the time because uh, I've, uh, I've gone blah, 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 blah about true weight and what it means. Uh, I want to discuss uh, on our newest volume of the Black Box Project, uh, issue 31, the ones uh, current as of February uh, 2023. At extremeselfprojection.com. If you're going to have a look at it, pick up and go ahead and get to the drills. We start. We talk about drawing directly into uh, tomahawk hooking. Uh, hooking is basically striking with the eye of the tomahawk, which is uh, this top-headed position here, where the haft would be dr uh, driven down, uh, uh, where the uh, meets the blade, and actual the, the skunk works of this whole thing right here, where we've got uh, the inertia work going on. Now, most of the time when we see hooking, um, and it, we refer to tomahawk traveling. And these positions here actually taking what we would think is mock-up of hook angles uh, from, from boxing. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the analogy is close, but it's not quite on. Close enough for government work and what we're discussing here. Uh, often what we see in uh, tomahawk manuals that are extant from well, this last century and, and things now, we'll see things that are pretty much, you can tell, you know, this is just stick work and a sword system that's been applied to this. And we're saying, yes, yeah, tomahawk, you know, it's not. Uh, this is an inertia weapon, and that's not how it was done. Historical record also tells us it wasn't done that way. Yes, there were some strikes going on with the eyes. There was tomahawk hooking, but I'll tell you this right now, it was not done this way, where you're, you've got your tomahawk and you're striking uh, as such. And here's how I can tell you, to, uh, let you know, to disabuse you of this idea. If you think, yeah, that's how it's done, it's not. Go out to your training post, whether that be the designated trees in your forest, or perhaps you sunk your uh, bit of telephone pole in the ground and poured your concrete in, you got your base and all this. Grab your mock up or your tomahawk, and you can strike into that thing. I'm not going <sighs> to. Don't hit it as hard as you can right up front, because when you do, you're either going to strip the weapon out of your own hand, you're going to you're going to jack your wrist up on the first, second, or third go around on this. And do you really think these early hosses carrying tomahawks every single day were going around stoving up their wrist, then having to go through just six to eight weeks of healing, and then go, now get right back in the tomahawk and then making the same damn mistake? No, of course they weren't. There is a way to do true old school uh, rough and tumble uh, tomahawk hooking, uh, but I'll tell you right now, that ain't it. Uh, and it's also got an unusual way to go with the grip. It has a, a little bit of a friction coefficient with it to back it up, make the grip easier on you to make sure you don't have any slides in. It's all done up half, and it's all always done off of a draw. They come right uh, to the three types of draws, right back into uh, the different, uh, what the difference? It's a dozen ways to come out of that, uh, that hooking so it goes from draw to hooking directly into another follow-up. Some of it's a stealth shot and some of it's just a big hairy. This is the finishing shot right here. Uh, primarily, this is neither here nor there. If you really want to play this stuff, you know, grab that volume we're talking about. But primarily here, I wanted to discuss to disabuse the idea of that this was ever being done uh, by anyone. It wasn't uh, the test I talked about, knock that into a tree, go easy on yourself unless you just know, I don't believe you don't want to hit as hard as I can. Well, I warned you, so take care of yourself, please, okay, because uh, I, I warned you.